The first thing is uh, do not read too much. Uh, we might be thinking that we need to read a lot of lot of things. So wherever possible, cut down on the trash, what is not needed. So all of us read the basic books that we read for every subject. So keep that uh, limited and uh, keep revising that multiple times. Uh, just don't run around content. Uh, take it from me, content and knowledge base is not what determines your rank in this exam. It's your innovation, it's your creativity, it's your ability to take risks, both in your preparation and in the exam. So until you understand that, you will be chasing behind the content, this notes, that notes, you know, let me write a little bit more, this value addition, that value addition. Yes, they're all important, but they're only like 30% of the marks that they're going to fetch you. The 70% is you, just the distinct you. So focus on that. How can I stand out? So right from the day one, keep this in mind. How can I stand out from others? Because at the end of the day, the examiner in the mains is going to check so many papers. So keep that, like never forget that. And uh, yeah, like do not read too much, never read too much. And how do you know that uh, you're reading too much? Like every single line or a paragraph you read, you should be like, uh, where can I use this? How many marks would I get if I read this and use that somewhere? That ruthless you have to be. Like you're not here to do PhD or anything. You don't, you don't have to care if you have completely understood the subject. You have to understood as much so that you can go and write a decent answer and present it well. So please don't read too much. I read too much, a lot. That's not useful, that never got me anywhere. So read how much ever is needed. How do you know, uh, focus on syllabus, previous year's questions. So what, uh, I developed a thumb rule over the years. For any syllabus topic in either optional or general studies, I would have one A4 size sheet. And that's my notes for that. And I would organize these notes also in very crisp points as to what is this subject? Uh, what does it explain? Like very brief points. And why is it relevant? How can I apply this elsewhere? If there's a question on this uh, topic, what should my introductions and conclusions be? So for every syllabus topic in GS and uh, optional, I had introductions and conclusions ready. So if you tell me, uh, like any topic, let's say separation of powers or anything. So I already have conclusions and introductions ready. So no matter what they ask on that, my introduction and conclusion are the same. The body will curate it as per the demand of the question. So this is a this helps you cut down on the time. So make a, a Excel sheet or whatever for all the syllabus topics and have your introductions and conclusions ready. You should not be searching here and there. It's very easy to think of introductions and conclusions. So the first rule is uh, do not read too much.